This is, I will say this, this is as proud as my dad is ever going to get of me, is lifting this. This isn't the way he wanted it to happen either. He turns around, you jog on the spot, you turn around and you go, the, come on, I'm so out Hello there, I'm John Oliver from HBO's Last Week Tonight, and I'm here to talk to you about my favourite football team, Liverpool, and that is football. That's, that's football, Britain's national sport. I'm not going to use the word that Americans use for our sport the S word. I'm not going to soil my mouth with that noise. Just know that every time you use that word, somewhere in the world, a British person dies. First is they're coming on here on the back of uh, a spectacular triumph, winning the European Cup for the sixth time. That's more than a hand, right? Because they've had a hands full of European Cups. Now they've added a thumb to that. Uh, Jurgen Klopp, the manager of Liverpool, uh, is one of the most charismatic people in football. I actually spoke to Mo Salah once and I said I wanted to know what it was like to be on the receiving end of a Jurgen Klopp hug because it looks like the kind of dream you had as a kid and, if you're really honest, as an adult. And he said the only complaint he has is that sometimes Jurgen squeezes too hard. That's not a complaint. That's a compliment. So I would like to be squeezed too hard by Jurgen and to believe that anything was possible. Also, the team has changed. Between the posts, you've got Alison Becker, best goalkeeper in the world. I've inflected it up like that was a question. It invites no answer. It's a statement of fact. He's the best goalkeeper in the world, and he's beautiful. When I look at Alison Becker, I just want to curl up on the floor in front of him and have him tell me that everything's going to be OK, scoop me up and rock me to sleep. He'd never drop me. He would never drop me. If, if anything, he'd palm me comfortably over the crossbar. Van Dijk, the greatest centre-back in the world. He's like he's carved out of Dutch rock. To see him in the flesh would be like watching a statue run really fast. Andy Robertson, the flying Scotsman. Right? That guy will run until he's dead, and then he'll run as a ghost. And then you've got Trent Alexander-Arnold, a local lad. He was living at home. Local boy Trent just won the Champions League. I'm, I'm almost crying thinking about that and I'm medically dead inside. Liverpool fans have some of the best songs in the world. You can uh, jump around and swing your scarf to Alley Alley Alley. I think there's a dirty version and a clean version. Ignore the clean version, sing the dirty one. It's the original and it's the best. And there's Mo Salah, right? Mo Salah, Mo Salah, running down the wing. I've got him here. Salah, la, 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 the Egyptian king. Just repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. It's not complicated and it's in inherently catchy. Also, you got a chance to uh, see them play at some of the most iconic stadiums in America. Yankee Stadium, Fenway Park, Notre Dame's stadium. And you're watching them play Borussia Dortmund, Sevilla and Sporting Lisbon. And, and hopefully all will fall in front of the mighty Reds.